Uh, we actually have uh, five of the variants of concern. So in addition to those that he mentioned, we also have the Kappa, which is another variant of the Indian uh, uh, variant. So it's, uh, uh, you know, another version of the Indian variant, if you want. So that one is uh, uh, 6171. So um, we have five of them. Uh, so in addition to the, the Alpha, uh, the Beta, and then the, the, uh, the Eta, which is the so-called Nigerian one, the 525. So we, we have all these variants there. Overall, we have about 45 of, or 46 different variants that are in circulation. But, but these five are the ones that are of concern. And uh, like Michael mentioned, uh, the trend shows that all these normally come from travelers. So if you look at uh, the sequences in travelers and then the sequences in um, the local transmission, it mirrors uh, you know, the, the distribution of the variant. So, if you have more travelers coming in with a particular variant, then it reflects in the in the local uh, population. So um, now that the the Delta is taking over, in fact, it's taking over <clears throat> it's taking over um, the UK. It's, it's now the most uh, uh, prevalent in the UK, and it's taking over most of um, East Africa. So it's just a matter of time before it'll come here in large quantities. So we we have a few here, but it's going to increase. If we don't take the steps that uh, Michael talked about, we have to go back to being serious about, um, you know, uh, the mm. protocols mm. and also tightening the tightening the, the screening at the airport and the, the mandatory quarantine. They, these are very important to limit the the influx of the new variants. Uh, mm. And if if we're able to do that, we may be able to avoid a third wave. Um, I I know you've already talked about the vaccines, but that that is the ultimate solution is to make sure we get vaccines and now we have to be looking at the right vaccines we, we all this while we've been uh you know fixed on uh, you know astrazeneca and uh sputnik v uh, we have to start shifting towards looking for uh you know more of pfizer and and others which have a better chance of uh, protecting against these variants because the future is is these aggressive variants that's where we are going uh the uk strain would probably uh, recede soon. It will be replaced by some of these uh, uh, new variants, especially the, the Delta from India. So we have to start um, anticipating what type of variants will be fighting uh, in a few months' time. And our vaccine procurement should be guided by that anticipation. So we shouldn't be fighting uh, the last uh, war, okay? So all these procurements for uh, vaccines I think we need to revise them and start looking at uh, different types of vaccines and start building the local capacity that we need to be able to store these vaccines because um, those uh, mRNA vaccines, which are more effective against the variants, uh, they also require certain um, storage conditions, which we need to prepare for. So these are the things we need to be doing now um, in anticipation of uh, a possible third wave. Okay. Uh, or even though third wave, we're fortunate enough uh, you know, anticipation of achieving herd immunity going forward. 